Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Gigi. And look, I wanted to come on this morning, um, and I wanted to dedicate my gym nugget to the eminent band director extraordinaire, Mr. Emery Fears. Um, he passed away at the age of 97. Um, he was the band director of we call our historically black high school, I see Norcom High School. He was also band director at Manor High School. And he went on to be the director, the chief of the Norfolk State University Spartan Legion. And you know, we had just been talking about the Spartan Legion. They participated in the um, Tournament of Roses Parade, um, New Year's. And I understand that uh, he was able to see them. He was able to see them, and I'm, I'm so glad that he was able to. But this morning, as I said, I wanted to um, dedicate this um, to him, the Jim Nugget. I didn't have the opportunity to be under his directorship, but I was under the directorship of one of his protégés, Mr. William Gibson. Uh, Mr. Gibson would always tell the story of how Mr. Fears recruited him um, from the Navy band. Mr. Gibson was in the Navy band and recruited him over to Norfolk State. And uh, Mr. Gibson was a tuba player. And uh, he always talked about Mr. Fears' influence on him. And Mr. Gibson was an extraordinary band director as well. There were many band directors uh, that followed the lead of Mr. Emery Fears. And Henry David Thoreau, he said, if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music which he hears, however measured or far away. What is my gym nugget for today? You have to march to the beat of a different drummer. You, you know, Romans 12, 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You know, um, thinking about uh, Mr. Fears, and, and the reason I'm wearing this shirt is because my son is also um, alumni of Norfolk State University. That's why I got on my mom's shirt today. And, you know, a lot of times you don't realize your influence uh, over people, just like the influence that Mr. Fears had over many. You know, um, he passed his influence down to uh, Mr. Gibson. Mr. Gibson was my band director, and I wanted to be a band director like Mr. Gibson. I went to school. Even Mr. Gibson took me to my band or my music interview uh, audition at Virginia Commonwealth University. I majored in music education, and I played in the band and so forth. And then my, my son, his, his, he, he was influenced uh, by, hopefully by me. <laughs> and then he went ahead and he majored in music at Norfolk State. And you know, it's very, it's very important that we follow the beat of the right drummer. <laughs> And we need to follow the beat of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is the band director. That is the drummer. And that's whose drum beat that we should follow. You know, the drummer in the band is the one that sets the beat and sets the pace uh, for uh, the people that march in the band. So you need, you can't be following uh, the, the beat of the world. You have to follow the beat that's been set by the greatest drum, the greatest band director, the band director of our lives, and that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't forget, you have to march to the beat of a different drummer. I just want to say, well done, Mr. Emery. Fears. You were 
a different band director. Amen.